Hey guys, Seaman235, back with another video. I, uh, uh, I, I do know that Avengers Age of Ultron just came out, and, uh, I will be talking about it in this video, but I just want to make something clear. I'm not very good at doing movie impressions. I've noticed that from my previous movie impressions videos, and I've noticed that from my, uh, just... Overall, whenever I write stuff down for movie impressions, you know, there is stuff that comes up, and I do have some stuff to say, I just don't know how to really say it since I don't script these videos, and I'm not good with scripts. With that, sh with that said, I'm not going to be doing movie impressions as often as I used to. In fact, I'm probably going to stop doing them after this one, with a few exceptions. Uh, I am going to still do of, you know, big movies, like, really big ones. Not, like, in, you know, unless I have something I really want to say about the movie, I'm usually just gonna do one for all the big topics. Like, I will be doing one on Star Wars. That's something I will be doing, because I want to talk about Star Wars. But, other than that, I don't really see any other movie I want to really talk about. You know, maybe Terminator Genesis. You never know, but... No, most likely not. Not even Batman v Superman I want to talk about, honestly. Because if I don't like it, I don't really want to talk about it. Uh, with that said, though, I'm going to do one on Avengers Age of Ultron now. Because uh, I do want to talk about it. Because uh, I do think it is a great movie, but I do feel some of the stuff that people are bringing up with... Uh, there are a few flaws with it that I think they could fix. But, uh, with that said... Uh, this is probably going to be the last movie impressions for a while, at least until the end of the year with Star Wars. If there is some another movie uh, impressions that comes up, well, then it comes up. I don't know. With that said, uh, I'm mostly going to probably stick to video game related topics, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm done with movies in general. Because I am still going to be doing movie commentaries, and I actually am going to be... I, I have recently started a series, Let's Talk, about last year I started it. And, uh, I did a Smash Retrospective. I'm still doing a Smash Retrospective. So, uh, after that, I might do one on the Marvel Universe, or I might do it on Sonic, or I might do it on any movie or ga video game franchise, or even a TV, uh, 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 franchise, like Avatar. You get the point. Uh, so I'm mostly gonna be talking about most of that stuff there, as opposed to in Impressions. Uh, most of the Impressions are probably just gonna be video game related. Uh, if there are any video games I've picked up, because I don't always pick up new games, so. With that said, Age of Ultron. Uh, Tony Stark creates an AI intelligence, and it doesn't exactly go the way he planned. Uh, Ultron sees how flawed uh, humanity is, and how violent they are, and how they kill each other, and yada yada yada. And because of that, Ultron goes uh, berserk, and he wants to destroy humanity and create a new age, an age of Ultron. And the Avengers, of course, have to stop him. Uh, just right off the bat, uh, it is a fantastic movie. The action is some of the best you're going to see this year. And you should see Avengers Age of Ultron because it's the movie everyone's going to be talking about. It is amazing. Seriously, check it out. With that said, uh, there are a few problems with the movie and I'll get into them later, but let's go over the good stuff. First off, the characters that didn't get much focus in the first movie actually do get more focus here. Uh, for one thing, Black Widow, we get to see a bit of her backstory, and we get to see uh, a bit of Hawkeye. Uh, not so much backstory for Hawkeye, but more of what kind of character he is. Hawkeye is somewhat the is is kind of the normal guy because we actually find out in the movie that they find this out pretty early in the movie that he has a family, he has kids, and he's going to have a third one on the way. He's sort of the normal everyman of the group. Uh, well, as normal as a guy with a bow and arrow can be. Uh, but he, I, I don't know if he has any kind of dark back backstory like Black Widow does. I doubt it. But he has a family. He has a wife. And that makes him pretty much the heart of the team. There's another great scene with him where we, uh, we get a scene with Scarlet Witch that I'm not babysitting. You go out there, you fight, you're an Avenger. And that was a really great scene. That was a really, really well done scene. In terms of the new characters, though, uh, uh, we have Scarlet Witch, uh, Wanda, uh, that, that's the real names, and Pietro, aka Quicksilver. This version of Quicksilver. <laughs> um, 
I prefer this version of Quicksilver over the one in Days of Future Past, mostly because I just find him a little more interesting as a character, though I will admit that scene with Quicksilver in X-Men Days of Future Past that is one of the best scenes I've ever seen in film, ever. <laughs> Seriously, it is amazing. But, uh, with this Twitch Silver gets a lot of great action scenes as well. Like, there's one great action scene where he rushes up to Captain America and start and just punch him, and punches him in the face. And that is like, it, it was a really, <laughs> it was really awesome. But, uh, he gets a lot of great moments, but overall, he was a likable character. Uh, I thought he was very, uh, he was very likable. I liked, uh, uh, him and his sister. Uh, they were they were good characters. I did wish they went into a little more detail with their backstory. They have a beef against Stark, uh, but they don't really go into it too too much. Uh, and they volunteered uh, to uh, be experimented on with their powers and everything. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's uh, pretty much uh, the the new Avengers. Uh, without giving spoilers, there's one other character that turns into an Avenger, but I'm not gonna spoil him right yet now, because he comes in pretty late in the movie. Though I'm pretty sure you know who he is, since you know Ultron's gonna be in this movie. With that said, how about Ultron? How's Ultron? You've been hearing how good he is, and it's all true. He is an amazing villain. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that uh, Ultron's motivation is very rushed, and I do agree to an extent. I don't think it's as bad as some people are saying it. I felt his motivations were fine. I understood his motivations, and I understood why he wanted to destroy humanity and bring a new age. Uh, but at the same time, I will admit there should have been more there. Uh, there should be more there. There are a lot of layers to him. It's just that some of those layers we don't exactly get to see. You see, this movie was originally three hours long. Yeah, three hours long. <laughs> so. Uh, they cut out a lot of stuff, and I th and even Joss Whedon, I think, admitted that uh, he had a lot of stuff he wanted to do with Ultron, but he just couldn't do it. Uh, with that said, uh, Ultron is a fantastic villain. He's actually a lot more funny than I thought, uh, but he's actually more threatening than some of the other uh, Marvel villains as well. He's very threatening. Uh, almost sometimes he actually is scary. Like I. I, some people can say otherwise. I personally thought he was actually kind of scary at points. Uh, I mean, he didn't like make me like, you know, shake in the movie theater or anything. But he was actually pretty intimidating, especially when uh, when he uh, first appears and like he walks like a zombie uh, in that broken armor. Uh, but even then, uh, there are like a bunch of you know that climax where they you know about the climax where they fight a bunch of robots. It's shown in the trailers. It's shown in the TV spot, so I think you've seen it at one point. But those robots actually come in sort of like zombies or coming out of their graves. And it looks really, really creepy, but it also looked really cool. Uh, Ultron was almost, you know, Ultron was almost like a virus as well, because he, he can spread himself to the internet. He is everywhere. You cannot actually kill him unless you kill all of him, because there is not just one Ultron. There's many Ultron. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's almost like a computer virus, but that makes a lot of sense. Uh, with that said, uh, while a few parts were a bit rushed with him, he was a great villain. He was really entertaining, and he was also very intimidating. I honestly find him better than Loki, and that's amazing because I didn't think I would ever say that. Maybe I should rewatch the Avengers to actually see, but honestly, I actually prefer Ultron over Loki at this point because I think he's just a. I think he's a more of a threat uh, than Loki was. Not that Loki wasn't a threat. He was a threat. He was he was a personal threat, but Ultron I think was a bit bigger. And that's what I think is uh, really, really good. It, uh, that's what I like about him more. Before I actually go into spoilers, let me just go into a few of the flaws that you'll probably notice with the movie. The first thing is that there's a lot of stuff in it. There's a lot of stuff. And there are points where you can see, okay, yeah, something must have been cut there. But there's, a lo there's still a lot of stuff. It feels very jumbled, and the pacing is a little off at points. Like, one second we're fighting Ultron, and the next second Hulk's going berserk, and, uh, you know, it, it makes sense why, it's just that it just happens so fast. Like, everything happens so fast, like, quick, 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 quick. With a few, like, maybe one or two scenes where we actually get a few moments where it's slow and it's focusing on the characters. The pacing in Avengers 2 
you can tell it's off because everything happens so fast. We go from one scene to another really quickly. And there's really not a time for a break. You're going to miss something in this movie. It's like the Dark Knight movies where the pacing is a bit fast, and that's a problem with the Dark Knight movies as well. But here it's really bad, because you can tell there was a lot of stuff. Avengers is trying to be too many things. Avengers 2, anyway. Not, not the first Avengers. Avengers 2 is trying to be too many things. It's an end to Phase 2. It's a sequel to Phase 2. It's a sequel... Uh, uh, for to Winter Soldier, it's a sequel to uh, 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 the first Avengers. It's uh, it's also going to be leading up to the events for three, Phase Three: Civil War, Thor Ragnarok, and uh, Infinity War. It's trying to be so many things, and it does those things well enough. But you know, still, it all happens, and it makes for a very jumbled mess of a movie. Not as big of a mess as it could have been, though. Let me tell you right now, this is not another Spider-Man 3. This is not another uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 where a bunch of stuff happens, but, you know, it never goes anywhere or anything like that. Or a bunch of stuff happens, but uh, it leaves a lot of plot holes. Uh, and, you know, for the most part, you know, with Avengers Age of Ultron, I didn't notice any gaping plot holes, at least not... Not that I've noticed. I'm sure people will find it. That's what that's what that's what Cinema Sense is for. <laughs> but uh, overall, there's a ton of stuff in this movie, and it goes really, really fast. You're going to miss something. If it weren't for Whedon, this movie would have fallen apart quickly. It really would have. Uh, thankfully, it didn't. So <laughs> uh, kudos to you, Whedon. You're a great director. Uh, and I, 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 it's even a mere, it's just a mere goal in itself that it worked. But final thoughts, uh, just basic final th thoughts, what did I think? I thought this was almost as good as the original. I know it doesn't have the magic that the first one had, seeing these two, uh, these characters together, and the pacing's not as good as the first one, obviously, but I will admit that, uh, I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed this just as much as the first Avengers, a lot of great scenes. And now I'm going to list those great scenes. Some of them have to be spoilers. So get out now. You've been warned. I'm going to give you five seconds. Good. You're gone? Go see the movie? Okay, good. Uh, with, or maybe you don't care. With that said, I'm going to pick a few of my favorite scenes. Uh, the first scene that I really liked is... Uh, uh, the Vision's introduction. And I don't... I know maybe that's not a spoiler now since we all know Vision's in the movie, but... Still, I didn't want to reveal anything with Vision until... I, I did mention that there was one more Avenger. That's Vision. Uh, but I didn't want to really talk about him until now, since he's introduced pretty late into the movie. He's introduced in the third act. And Vision, for the time he's on screen, is really awesome. Uh, he, he is a, he's a really... Uh, he's a really... Uh, his introduction was hilarious. Uh, but also, at the same time, when you see him and Ultron interacting... It's really interesting. They have some of the best, you know, I, 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 they have some of the best stuff. Uh, they have some of the best stuff character-wise. Uh, you know, how Vision, Vision is pretty much the opposite of Ultron. And that's what makes him interesting, is that he thinks to be more human, you know, he thinks perfection is to be more human. And he, you know, he's, uh, I don't know, I forget who plays him, but whoever played him, you did a really good job as Vision. And, and he, like I said, his introduction was hilarious because, uh, you know, the Avengers are not sure whether to trust him or not. And then all of a sudden, he picks up Thor's hammer because he's worthy. Yeah, he picks up Thor's hammer. And everyone just sort of looks at him and is like, wait, what? <laughs> and Thor's, look, the look, look on Thor's face is priceless. <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, speaking of uh, Thor's hammer... One of my other favorite scenes, and I know this is early, so it's not really a spoiler, is the scene where they're all at a party, they're just talking to each other. That scene was so entertaining. That was one of my favorite parts of the movies, because it's just them interacting. It's hilarious, there's a lot of funny moments. We get, you know, Rhodey's back, and he joins the fight as well later on, but Rhodey's in, in here, and he was hilarious. Uh, I love the scene where they're trying to pick up Thor's hammer. <laughs> hammer. Uh, another one of my favorite scenes is when we actually see Hawkeye's, fa uh, Hawkeye's family. We actually find out who a bit more about him. Uh, 
Uh, and, of, you know, of course, the climax is fantastic. You know, it's some of the best action you will ever see, like I said. There's a lot of great moments where you see all the Avengers fighting together, trying to protect the city that Ultron's trying to destroy, and it's all just spectacular action. It is amazing. The CG is so seamless. It, like, there's, the special effects are great, the action is great, the characters are great. A lot of the stuff works really well. There are flaws indeed, but a lot of the stuff works really, really well. So I really, really like this movie. A lot more than most critics would say, actually. Uh, whether it's better than the first Avengers, I don't really know yet. I, I did say I enjoyed this just as much as the first, Avenger, uh, the first Avengers movie, but I have to give it a couple of rewatches and really uh, just, you know, of course, gain my opinion and maybe my opinion will, my opinion will change. But overall, as of this point, go see Age of Ultron, or, well, I'm talking about spoilers. Okay, go see it again. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see it again. I'm gonna see it again with one of my friends at some point, uh, and I'm looking forward to it because this was a fantastic movie. So uh, with that said, I'm the Seaman Two Three Five signing out, and I hope you enjoyed.